Not many people can imagine having their nose bit off during a golf competition. Yes, in this crazy week of golf, an American golfer bit his competitor's nose off and is now facing seven years in prison. In other news, two golfers also beefed on the final green at the Australian Open, and Adrian Moronk became the first ever Polish player to win the Australian Open. Keep watching to find out more. First up, golfer jailed for biting competitor's nose off. In one of the more frightening golf-related occurrences in a long time, a player has been accused of biting the nose off his rival after they were in a heated argument about the game. Mark Wells, aged 51 years old, is accused of biting the nose off his fellow golfer during a fight that turned violent between the two in the parking lot of a casino in Biloxi, Mississippi, in the United States. An argument over a golf game ended with one of the golfers biting off the nose of another golfer in the parking lot of a Bay St. Louis casino. Let's be real. When we think of golf, we cannot picture violence, right? Despite the fact that golf isn't precisely a hostile sport that results in disagreements or physical altercations, things can occasionally get confrontational on the course. This is because golfers battle their own games or the course's circumstances, but rarely each other. Both golfers in question had been arguing about their game all day at the British golf course until things got really heated to a point of no return and turned into a violent confrontation. So whatever occurred between them out on the course must have been something serious. Next Next up, the aftermath of the altercation between the golfers. Tony Schwartz, the police chief of Bay St. Louis, stated that when officers arrived at the Hollywood Casino in Biloxi in response to a reported attack, they discovered the victim had suffered serious bruises and damage to his face. In a new statement by the Bay St. Louis police chief, he said that Biloxi resident golfer originally sped away from the scene in a Tesla before he finally surrendered to the police, where he was arrested on suspicion of felony mayhem. After the news had aired, the man was reportedly taken to the hospital, but local TV reports claims on the incident stated that his nose hadn't been found at the site where the fight had occurred. According to the statement, when police arrived at the Hollywood Casino to investigate a report of an assault, they discovered the victim had sustained a disfiguring face injury. According to the inquiry, the culprit bit the victim's nose off, according to Toby Schwartz. Moving on, Mark's jail time. What we're hearing is that Mark Wells and the victim of the assault had been bickering all day long about a round of golf they had played at the resort's course. Wells was then charged with felony mayhem and lodged in the Hancock County Prison, where he self-funded the necessary 10% of a $50,000 bond and was released an hour later, according to WXXV. The crime of felony mayhem is defined as a premeditated offense committed with the intent to kill in which the defendant mutilates, disfigures, disables, or destroys someone's tongue, eye, lip, nose, limb, or other body part, and has a maximum sentence of seven years in jail. For both players, it seems like a hefty price to pay for a disagreement that was the result of just 18 holes at their local resort golf course. Up next, golfers argued on green final at the Australian Open. Golf is a sport where tempers can sometimes boil, but you hardly ever see players fighting on the course, at least not on the professional circuit. Players rarely argue with one another, though of course they will have their own remarks if they make a bad shot. But we saw just that as an argument between two ladies on the 18th hole of the third round of the Australian Open shocked golf fans. After the end of her round, Marina Alex of the United States confronted Julianne Sue of Australia in a furious manner. As reported by Nine News, Alex wasn't pleased with where Sue's ball ended up after the Australian tried to toss it into the crowd, even though the golf event in Australia's summer tournaments are customarily celebrated by handing out golf balls as mementos. The American claimed that the ball ended up in the bunker, but other witnesses claimed that it ended up at an area near the spectators rather than in the sand. Alex approached Sue and pointed to the edge of the green, confusing Sue. The crowd reacted angrily when the couple skipped the traditional handshake at the end of the round. Now let's look at Adrian Moronk making history at the Australian Open. Adrian Moronk defeated Adam Scott by five strokes to win the Australian Open, becoming the first Polish player to ever do it. Adrian Moronk made history by becoming the first Polish player to win the Australian Open by easily defeating local favorite Adam Scott by five strokes. Safely in for a par for Moronk, so he stays in the lead. 11 under. By finishing his final round with an eagle putt from off the green at the 72nd hole to finish the tournament with a 4 under par 66, the two-time DP World Tour champion took home the victory in impressive fashion. Scott had a great chance to win the tournament's second championship after entering the final round as the leader, but a discouraging 2 over 72 put an end to all of his dreams. Min Woo Lee, a fellow countryman of Scott, who finished his challenge with a score of 69, experienced frustration as well. The standings were completely different from the opening round, as Scott's bogey allowed Morong to 
tie for the lead following the pole's birdie on that same hole. However, Scott did take back the lead after making consecutive birdies on holes 4 and 5. After cutting his deficit to two shots, Minwoo Lee attempted to turn the match into a three-way contest, but a bogey on the eighth hole put him four shots back before the turn. Scott ran into difficulties on the back nine when he made two mistakes on the ninth and tenth holes. Regaining the lead for Moronk just over six months ago at the Irish Open, he made history by being the first Polish person to win at the DP World Tour. Now, after winning the Stonehaven Cup, he has added yet another record to his resume, enjoyed a long list of golf luminaries. And does top of the leaderboard now at 11 under par, two players at double figures under par. More on Adrian's emotions on his iconic win in the women's competition. Adrian claimed it was really unbelievable for him to finish on the 18th hole like that. Also, he appreciates all his fans' support and love. And this week has been wonderful for him. The day he won was a great day for him. He said he stayed consistent and just simply continued to do what he had been doing for the previous two days, after which things went rather smoothly for him. He's extremely happy now and also extremely proud of his team. In the women's competition, Recent AIG Women's Open Championship Ashley Buhai added another victory to her 2022 campaign, defeating G.I. Shin by one shot. In the All Abilities division, Kip Popper dominated, easily defeating Curtis Barkley by seven shots. Coming up next, Adrian Moronk's golf life. The 29-year-old Pole living in Dubai was interviewed to discuss his 2022 campaign. The gap's now three. He's four under in his last. In 2016, Adrian became a full-time professional after competing for Poland in the Eisenhower Trophy. His ascent up the ranks after that was remarkable for someone who was raised in a nation with 40 million citizens, only 10,000 of whom were avid golfers, and only 25 golf courses in Poland. He made his debut on the Challenge Tour in 2017 and finished second in the Ras Al Khaimah Challenge at the Alhamra Golf Club in the United Arab Emirates. He later placed 30 in the Road to Oman rankings. He continued working on the Challenge Tour for the next two seasons before placing fifth in the season-long road to Mallorca rankings in 2019, and earning a victory at the Open de Portugal, which secured him a spot on the 2020 DP World Tour. He placed 84th in the race to Dubai during his first campaign in 2020, but improved to 39th in 2021. Adrian's luck would only get better from here. In July of 2022, he defeated Ryan Fox of New Zealand by three strokes to win the $6 million Horizon Irish Open at Mount Juliet Golf and Spa Hotel, then go on to represent Poland in the Olympic Games in Tokyo a few weeks later. He tied for seventh place with a score of 12 under par in the most recent $10 million DP World Tour Championship, played at Jumeirah Golf Estates Earth Course. Finally, Adrian's 2023 season win. Who's played it the more traditional way here at 18. Another in with 66. Adrian placed in the first event of the 2023 season on the Race to Dubai rankings in partnership with Rolex and finished 8th overall in the DP World Tour rankings. As he heads to Melbourne this week to compete in his ISPS Honda Australia Open, he tied for 34th in the Fortnite Australian PGA Championship. Adrian just received an early Christmas present in the form of his selection to compete for Team Continental Europe in the Hero Cup against Team Great Britain and Ireland at the Abu Dhabi Golf Club in January. That's all for this video, folks. Tell us, what do you think about the whole altercation in the comments below? And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.